sons and daughters of the Most High God. Hope you all are doing well. Hallelujah. Glory be to God. Yes, today I saw a video and this video gave me food for thoughts. And this video is concerning the wise man Daniel. You know, this one of the prophets that was raised by Prophet TV Joshua. And recently he was, you know, teaching in his church and during the course of that teaching and he said something that really pricked me and that's why I'm making this video because I have said it if I see anything that can help us to love God more to serve God more you know that can open our mind towards God I will bring it here so, in this video, I saw him, you know, declaring to that crowd that was gathered that because he was raised by TV Joshua and imparted by TV Joshua, that he is going to remain loyal to him even though he is dead now and gone. That he will remain loyal to him and he's also going to remain obedient to all his teachings and instructions, even at his death. I say, wow, this is serious. This is deep. And I began to think, I said, if a man can be this faithful to a mortal man, yes. No matter how we see him, though a prophet, but still a mortal man. That's why he's dead now, because he's a mortal man. But our heavenly master, that did, that did not just impart on us, he gave us his life. He shed his blood. You know, he left his throne on high, he came and dwelt among men so that he can reconcile us back to our original position in place in the, in, in the sight of God. He gave his life. He shed his blood. He went to the cross. He suffered all manner of humiliation. Glory be to God. He died and he was resurrected. And that's why you can hit our chest today and say, yes, we are Christians. We have the hope of salvation because he rose. Can we as Christians, can we be disloyal to him? we say to ourselves that we continue to obey his teachings, his instructions even unto death just like this wise man Daniel is declaring for prophet TV Joshua can we say that to our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ this really is food for thoughts and I will want you to watch this clip just see the crowd that were there come on on camera he was not just saying it inside his house no it wasn't among his um, friends no that is he was saying that to the whole world Meanwhile, there are people that say they are Christians today, that they find it difficult to let their friends or their colleagues to know that they are Christians. That is a food for thoughts. So please watch him, how a man 
can be loyal to his earthly master even after he has died and gone. Then you will agree with me that God is expecting much from you and I. Thank you so much. Please watch this and I will be back. Remain blessed. There is no competition in destiny. What is yours is yours. What is mine is mine. That is why just try to say TV Joshua is bad. I will hate everything I have to do with you. That's me. Listen to me. That's me. If I hear you say TV Joshua is bad, forget about me. If I'm talking to you before, I'll block you. Even if you're, if you're my blood brother, I will block your line, block everything about you. You know why? To whom much is given, much is expected. You know your master, respect your master, even at the point of death. I can never disobey this man. Though he's no longer alive, I'm still a loyal servant. I never had in mind to become a prophet. I never had in mind. Though there were some dreams I never understood. Not until I met him and my dreams became clear. I know you'll be hearing it for the first time. Let me introduce myself to you briefly. Profile will speak more about me. I read mechanical engineering in the University of Nigeria of Soka. In my mind, I wanted to build a car. God knows my heart. But man proposes. You know your master. I don't interfere. You can never see me saying this might be. No. That's not how I was brought up. And before the glorious exits of my mentor, you can never see him coming out to confront somebody. Why do you say this about me? What's about The same thing. If you like, go to Sudan and say, I carry up everything. Or I carry airport and throw it on the floor. I will act as if I don't know. The same doctrine. We follow this boy till I also pass on to him. Because I know our enemy is a person, but a person without flesh and blood. The time you waste in answering your critics, the time you waste in asking, answering those who are condemning you, if you invest it in your spiritual life, your life will be better than this. Someone say you are stupid, you say you are mad. Someone say you are useless, you say you are mad. That time you are using to retaliate and confront that person. If you guide it consciously for your spiritual development, by now you will be a great apostle. Because the work is much, but there are few laborers. Someone will say you are stupid. You come back and say, me stupid? Your great grandfather is mad. <laughs> Another one. And one thing about these critics is this. When they know your weakness, they capitalize on that. Don't let them know your weakness. Even when something annoys you, smile. Don't let them know you're angry. But some people, can you imagine? Where was this boy when I was going to theology school? I spent 100 years in theology. This is riffraff. They start using looking, using it from English to qualify you. Riffraff, non-entity, gagaganga, titichinchi, tikekeke, nonsense. nonsense. <laughs> Meanwhile, spiritual growth is there waiting. God is looking for those to grow spiritually. When they say you are stupid, just go. Say, Lord, thank you for making people say I'm stupid. They have said something in me to say you are, I'm stupid. Thank you. Time for you to come at me. No. That's what I love in Prophet T.B. Joshua. Never look at the record. Go to humanity. You can't see that record. And he brought me up. I'm following you the same way. No matter what you say about me, I can never come out to say, hey, hey, hey. I leave the judgment for who owns judgment.